Everybody, welcome back, Falcon, Prison Architect. Um, we're gonna ignore the small hiccup that happened towards the end of the last episode. And, um, we're gonna pick it up today and do a little bit better, obviously. Um, now, the first thing we need to do is this walls have to be broken down and it will be done. Alrighty, we had a little bit of a hiccup over here where I set up some weird foundation and shit happened and... And nobody was really enjoying it, neither was I, so I apologize. I hopefully, I am still recording the same day, so I'll probably edit out any sort of hiccup right there so you guys aren't too... Um, you know, perturbed about my shortcomings as a smart individual because obviously I am not. Now, my kitchen door's gonna be- my kitchen's gonna be over here because my door is here for my workers to kind of come in and out a little bit easier. So I'm thinking this will be the canteen area and then the kitchen will be roughly this bad boy right here. And we need to, uh, number one, enclose this area so that the criminal scum doesn't come over here and be like, Hey! What do you put in these mashed potatoes? Ask? You know why? Because it tastes like ass and you're like, you know what, dude? It's a fucking prison, alright? You're not gonna have Gordon Chef Ramsay back over here, or Emery, being like, BAM! There you go. Amazing meal. That's not how it works. So, we have to have some objects over here, and... We have to set up some walls, obviously. So... We're gonna go to materials, and we do some walls. I'm gonna do some brick walls in here, just to, you know, make it nice. They're actually concrete. Yeah, we'll do concrete again. It shouldn't be nice after all. It's a prison. So, we'll do... I would say a wall through here. And... Might as well wall this whole off thing, right? And then over here we'll have another staff door. The other staff door will be in order to, number one, keep the criminal scum out of here, but number two, give our chefs a little bit of easier time to get over here and drop food off. And speaking of dropping food off, for the canteen, we need to set that up now. So canteen, you will be... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, where's my canteen at? Right there. So the canteen requires indoor serving table, table, and bench. Gotcha. So... Canteen will run roughly upwards to that, I would say. I mean, I can make the whole thing a canteen, except for that, because this will be the door, the um, walls and the door, right? You know what? Yeah, just label the whole thing a canteen. This will be my wall area here, anyway. That is set up for walls, correct? I haven't botched that again, have I? No. Alrighty. So the canteen is going to require a serving table, a table, and a bench. So, here is what we do. Go to objects, which I was at right now. And I silly got out of it. We also need some stuff in the kitchen. Um, but let's get this up and running first because the kitchen requires some routing of power and cables and things of that nature. So for this bad boy, we're going to be needing um, a serving table, a table, and a bench. So where is my serving table right here? This is be where the chefs bring the food at, right? And then the, you know, the prisoners are able to come in there, kind of like a buffet, and they just go in there and grab whatever they feel like. So we'll do like one over here. You know what, let's have two, right? That wouldn't be a bad thing, right? One and two. Alrighty, so, yeah, you know, different options, you know, it's kind of like, treated like it's hometown buffet or something, or Sizzler. It'll be an open bar, except without booze. Unless they do Pruno, which, you know, they are tend to capable of doing. Um, alrighty, now we also need a table and a bench, right? So, table's gonna be down this way, right? So let's see, how do we want to set this bad boy up? Now, if we do this, um... We want to have room for some your auto saving. Are you go ahead and auto save game? We'll do some benches here. Table, bench, skip one, bench, table, bench. Perfect. So you go here, and I said, skip. This will be bench, table, bench, skip. Perfect. Alrighty. So we'll do table, table, and we will do bench over here, 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 and there. Now, um, this will be good for now. I could do another one over here, too. That wouldn't be too bad, honestly. That would actually work out pretty good. It'd be up against the wall, but I don't think that'd be a bad issue, so let's do that. Might as well. I mean, I obviously don't need this many starting off because I won't have that many prisoners, but, you know, as we expand, we might as well just have them there, even though we'll probably more than likely switch our layout a lot as we expand. So, there you go. This will be a pretty good canteen, I would say. Probably one of my better canteens so far. Let's get the hell out of that object, though. All right, good. Now, our kitchen. What does this require? Cooker, fridge, and a sink. Gotcha. So, sticking into the objects, we're going to do cooker, fridge, and sink. Everything's over here that I need, and we probably need a bin. Tired. Uh, tidiness is important when it comes to contraband. Um, all righty. So, we're going to be putting a trash can, like, roughly here, and... If I flip this over, yeah, here and there. It'll be like, you know, after they're done, they could probably dump off their food. Now, mind you, these guys will try to smuggle forks and knives into their jail cells, so we have to be careful about that. We could do shakedowns for that, though. 
Alrighty, now, this door is kind of awkwardly placed here? What happened to this door? Uh, can somebody demolish this? It should be going the other way. Um, rotate. Yeah, so this has to be demolished. Assuming it hasn't been, has it been built? Have you been built, door? That's good. I'm not sure what's going on with that door. It's a, it's a little bit shady, if you ask me, though. It's not supposed to be opening that way. Unless, because it's open, I'm not sure. Alrighty, so over here we need a cooker, a fridge, and a sink. So, cooker, you are going to be requiring power, I'm pretty sure. Um, how do we set you up? Is that the right one? We'll do that. Then we need a fridge and a sink. And we'll probably split this up like... Hmm... How big is the fridge? Fridge is that big, right? So we'll set this up like so, and then we will do the... Ba, 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 ba. The sink. You come and wash the dishes over on the other side, right? Alrighty, so we'll do that. And maybe, should we get two? Yeah, let's get two of them, why not? I mean, to be cleaning a lot of dishes, I would imagine. These uh, criminals aren't necessarily tidy, by any means of the imagination. Alright, so there you go. They're over here bringing these uh, bins for us, and they'll be bringing the other things really soon. Now, the other thing we need to be doing is power for these guys, right? That's without a doubt. So we should probably start thinking about moving our utilities down over this side. So let's do electrical cable, right? Uh, you are going to be routing power this way, or water this way. So power should probably be running through... Uh, I guess we could probably... Our, our other office building is going to be over here, right? You know what? Let's hold off on that then. Let me start building the other offices that we're going to be needing. So... Let's do another foundation really quickly here, and we will be doing a foundation of brick for the offices. So, remember, we had a door over here. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. So, in terms of the actual offices for our regular employees, I'm thinking we do something along the lines of... Needs to be connected to this somehow, too. So, we'll do something along the lines of this for now. Let's say that's pretty good because we have to also set up a staff room for our regular employees. We need offices and a staff room, so we'll probably put this all in here. So you know what? I might actually want to expand this a little bit more. Yeah, let's do it up to... Oh, you're not going to let me expand, are you? All right, we'll do it up to there. There you go. That'll be all connected together really soon. Again, we're going through a lot of money doing this, but it'll be worth it. Now, this over here requires power and water, obviously. So, meanwhile, they've set this foundation up. I guess we could start working on this stuff over here, right? Now, let's go to utilities and go into pipes. Alrighty. So, we want to set up our jail cells up here, I said, right? So, over here, we have the canteen and the kitchen. So, I'm thinking we run this down through here. We run one up through there, because this will be joining up to the jail cells. And then we need another one over here. So, let's run this bad boy down through here, and then, from this point on, we can just kind of extend some small pipes, I would say. So, small pipe, you are going to be connecting straight up into this guy here. So, let's do small pipe through that, and then small pipe through that. And I guess we might as well just expand a large pipe down here if we can. There you go. Perfect. Now... Let's get out of the utilities really quickly. This requires an entrance, obviously. Now, what kind of entrance do we want over here? We want staff doors because this will be for our regular day-to-day -day employees. So let's go into staff doors and we will be doing a staff door. Where do we want this door? Um, you know what? When people come to work, I would like them to come in from the outside. I don't have to necessarily go through this whole debacle over here. So let's do a staff door outside through this side. And that'll be good. Now... I also want to set up a bit of a brick wall over here to kind of break this up as well. So I will be doing that soon. So that would be my staff door for this area for now. And let's set up some brick walls as well. Let's go into materials and brick wall. Bam. And bam. And I guess this will obviously be our other staff door now to get from one building to another. I don't want the kitchen to kind of connect to this as well. So then, you know, my chefs would also go to the staff room and, you know, rest as well. You know, they're part of the um, prison society after all. Now, I think the problem here with this door was that I set it up incorrectly, right? This needs to be ro rotated. So rotate that. Now, where did I set this up? We'll do this. Rotate, please. 
there, and uh, we'll set this other one like roughly here in the middle or something. Now we still have to demolish these doors because they are placed incorrectly. So dismantle that and dismantle that. And then we'll set them up the proper way. How are you guys doing over here? You guys are wandering around in the dark? Setting up some pipes? Good. You lay down the pipe. <laughs> lay down the pipe, he says. He points at his penis, but nobody's watching because there is no um, face cam involved with this playthrough. Why would you need a face cam for something like Prison Architects, my real question. Not that I'm, you know, hating on face cams. You know, it's fine. Yeah. People watch what they want to watch. So there we go. We have this door. We have that door hopefully really soon. That's been dismantled. Or at least in the process of being dismantled, I'm sure. Taking a while to dismantle that door. Why? Why is it so hard? Which is something I've never heard in my life. Um, Alright, let's rotate this to bam and bam. Now we have the proper doors where we need them and they're not facing, you know, in awkward directions. Alright, now we need to extend some power, which is fine because I wanted to set this up before we did that. So now let's go to utilities and we'll be doing electrical cables and you, my friends, will be running down this way. This way. And then I'm going to run one all the way down through here. And this will be the one that connects to the canteen and lights this whole area up. We need to set this up with power, and we need to set this bad boy up with power. And I think this would be more than likely enough to cover this whole area, I would imagine. Let me set this one up over here as well, just to light up this dark corridor. Set this off. Alrighty, good. So I think that should, for the most part, take care of most of the area over here. I need to set up the offices manually, obviously, but we at least have the foundation for it, which is the important part. Now, over here, what I wanted to do is set up some... Where is it? Where is it? I know it's somewhere around here. Metal detector. Now, this will be really important for, you know, I don't want, you know, these criminals uh, smuggling any sort of weapons under first uh, rodeo to our prison here, right? So we'll do that and that right there. It costs a thousand to do so, but that's fine. Better safe than sorry, right? Okay, so things are going on pretty good here. A lot of people working. I should probably hire myself a few extra workers for now, just because we have eight hours left. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? So workman, let me set you up here and here. Two extra workers to give us a hand. <laughs> I'll be firing you guys really soon. <laughs> ah, the American system. You gotta love capitalism, right? Now, uh, why is this over here uh, lit up? Is my concern. It's not lit up, is it? No, it's fine. Did I set this up incorrectly? It's facing the other way, isn't it? This one is anyway. Oh, I'm up. Big dummy. Alrighty, Falcon, you foolish man. Um, how about we demolish this object again? Sure, I'm just over here extending how much time we do have, because I'm a fool. The son of a preacher, man. Um, not really. So, yeah, let's dismantle this object whenever we get the chance, guys, because I'm an idiot. And I botched that one up pretty bad. Alrighty. How's the power supply coming along here? Good. Okay, now let's start setting up the other foundation for our jail cell. So this will be also be concrete, obviously. This will be the entrance to it, so we might as well set up the first uh, line of defense over here, which will be the large jail cell door. Let's take a look at how it's set up over here. So if I go straight up, I should be fine, right? So... Not sure why. Is it because of the tree again? Oh, God, these, these trees are like the worst enemy of all time. Okay. These trees are gonna, you know, bust my balls completely. So let's just set up the foundation so they can bring those things down and then we'll focus on that. So what do we want to do for the jail cells? Well, I'm thinking we have a little bit of a passageway for one. And then... Maybe brick walls first and then we'll do the other thing? That probably wouldn't be the worst idea. But let's set the foundation first. Concrete. So jail cells, I want them to come in through here, a little bit of a, another hallway, and then set them up somewhere up to here. So we could do bam, 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 roughly. So jail cells would be... Mm, that seems alright for now, I want to say. Okay. Now... My workers, all right, nice. We got some power going on and everything. Good. It just got dismantled just as I was hoping it would. So let's go and set this up again. Um, we need the serving table. We'll set this up properly this time, Falcon, you idiot. Um, we need it the other way, right? This is the right way. I'm just, why am I just, why is this so goddamn difficult for me? It shouldn't be this difficult for anybody. 
That is the right way, right? I mean, obviously, these little things have to be facing that way. That's the right way. I, I, God damn it. If it's not, I'm going to be really pissed off right now. Not that I have anybody to blame but my own incompetence, but, you know. Utility. So let's go over here to capacitors. Uh, my power's over here kind of flowing a little bit crazy right now, huh? So you could probably use a few more of these bad boys. We'll do another one here and another one there. Just to kind of lower, like, how much uh, power is required. So the foundation's being set up for that, which is fine. Uh, these trees over here, let's um, dismantle these guys, huh? Dismantle, dismantle. And set this up for dismantling as well. Now, we're going to require an entrance, that's for sure. So let's go into objects, and we will go into our large jail cell door now. Let me zoom out here, rotate this. So we're going to be going straight up. Straight up to here. Alrighty. And we obviously need another one over here, but, you know, this uh, thing is continuing to bother us. So now that we've set that up, let me also go into brick walls, and we'll do brick down through here and brick down through there. Alright. Good. Yeah, start working on those goddamn trees. Those trees, I hate them. Not once have I hated nature as much as I do after playing Prison Architect, apparently. And we'll dismantle this tree as well, if that's possible. So we have some business to conduct over here. No, let's not sack the workmen. Thank you for cutting that down, my friend. You are a gentleman and a scholar. This tree is also set up for that? Good. These trees are just lagging it, man. They also take a while to bring down. <laughs> we should hire some actual um, woodsmith or something, and my workmen just aren't cutting it. Alrighty. Just need one more left to do this mantle tree. Excellent. Alrighty. Let me pause this here for a second. We're looking at, oh, two hours, uh, roughly three hours into our prisoners get here. Uh, that's fine, because we do have the can the holding cell. We still need to set up the showers and jail cells, though, so let's do that. Let's pause the game. I'm going to be really uh, micromanaging at this point. It's kind of my fault for, you know, not pausing enough, I suppose. I'm just being a little bit reckless with my play here. Let's do electrical cable. Now you are going to be... Let's just run it down through this side as well. And then down to here. And we'll do... This should be more than enough to light up this whole area, right? I would say so. We're also going to need some pipes, however. Now, the pipes, again, I don't want to extend the large pipes in here because then they'll crawl through shit to get out of here, and I don't want that happening. So, I'm going to leave the pipes to stop right about here. And then we're going to just um, start focusing on small pipes around. Actually, not yet, because I'm not sure where the toilets are going to be in their actual jail cells. So, let me also go into rooms now. Now, the jail cells have to be what? Mm, the jail cells have to be... Ba, 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 my Sharona. Where is the um, jail cell? So, here we go. So this has to be two by three enclosed, obviously. Bed and a toilet. Alrighty. So, two by three it says, right? So we'll do... So that would be a jail cell right there, huh? Yeah, you know what? Let's do two by threes. And this will be door and door. Or wall and wall, I should say. So we'll skip that and we'll do again. Two by three. Skip one. Two by three. Oh, this here is going to bust my chops now, is it? That's fine. We'll leave it like that for now. Now, what do I do with the rest of it? Um, so we have a wall here. We, well, we need a door as well. Obviously. So if we were to do that, and then I go over here and do... Ba -ba -ba -ba, concrete wall. So let's start giving this a little bit of life. This will be that, that'll be that. And this will be the door, right? So, bam, 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 and then we need doors, and we'll do the small jail doors, obviously, for this one. Nope, not the big one, just the small one, the one that Falcon's used to, um, so besides the point. Bam, bam, we need eight uh, jail cells at the very least, because we have eight prisoners coming in right now, so we'll do that. That works pretty good for this. Now, I think I kind of screwed myself, because I kind of set this weird thing here, where now, I'm not sure how to set up the other ones next to it. I mean, not without breaking the same pattern that we got going on over here. And, you know, God forbid my OCD will allow me to do that, right? So, for now, I am thinking we set up another one over here this way, and then we'll think about the consequences later. Two by three. Two by three. Alrighty. And then objects, materials, we'll be doing concrete wall. There, there. There, through there. And there, through there. And then we'll do some doors once again. Again, I'm relatively fresh playing this game. I'm fucking new, if you could even say that. 
So if you guys have any tips about anything you want to leave behind, be sure to leave me in the comments. I, I read everything that I get in the comments, so, you know, if you could better my gameplay, I would not be opposed to it. Now, here's the issue, right? No, it's fine. Everything's good here. Yeah. So we have j uh, six jail cells, meaning we probably should expand this a bit more, if anything. If not, add a few jail cells over here. But I'm thinking expanding this will probably be a little bit more secure for us after all. Alright, and the trees over here have been removed, so... Yeah! There you go. There you go. We're looking pretty good. Starting to take a little bit of shape here. We gotta do this fast, though, because the uh, prisoners are coming really soon. Now, foundation. Let me go back to you. Concrete. What do we got going on over here? I'm saying we got um, this going on. We need to expand this a bit more. Now, how much more is the real question that I want to pose to myself here? That's a very good question. Because I could probably add another jail uh, cell here, wouldn't I? This would be like, what, jail cell here? And then the wall would be out here? Interesting, interesting. So if I demolish this, I could make it work. Let's go ahead and do that, actually, then. How about we do that? Demolish this. I think I demolished that. Probably not. Oh, he is demolishing. Good. Yeah, so demolish that. I have a plan. I have a master plan, you could even say. Um, we'll do that. Now, part of my plan requires this to be moved. So we'll do uh, a foundation concrete. So, this needs to be sealed off through here, right? So, we say this goes through here, and then... Will that make sense, maybe? It doesn't make too much sense to me, but... What if I... I don't want to get stuck in that position I was last time where I had no idea what the hell I was doing. So, one second here. Let's cancel this out really quickly. Requires an entrance. And I don't want you to enclose it, I just want you to... You know what, fuck it. Let's make this easier on my on myself right now. I don't want to run into that issue we had last episode, so let's just do concrete wall through here. This right here will be another one. We need to cancel this one, and this will be the jail cell door right there. Then um, we'll do the same over here. That'll be another jail cell door. And that will be actually eight exactly, which is what we do need. So that's going to meet the requirement that we need for the first prisoners coming in. So I've, um, at the very least, have salvaged this much for myself right now. There you go. Get out of here and go fast forward. Alrighty. So, jail cell door, jail cell door, large one, small one over here. Alrighty, now we need to start setting up some beds. So let's pause this really quickly. Bed and toilet, that's what they require at the very least. I could give them televisions and whatnot, but you know, I'll probably give them like a bigger like recreational room for that, you know. Why would they require televisions in their own jail cell? I mean, come on. This is a maximum security prison, not, you know, you know, a, a stay at the loft. This isn't Martha Stewart's stay at prison. Remember when Martha Stewart was in prison, guys? She was. Uh, let me put a bed here, 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 and I'm doing this because what this will allow me to do is uh, make it so that these guys, when, and their toilet's going to be next to their um, bed, obviously, but I want them to be, you know, when they're taking their shits, I want them to be out in front of the door, so, you know, again, it's all about humiliation with these prisoners because, you know, they're prisoners, you know, that's what they require. A little bit of reform, and obviously, we'll set this up. Is that the right way? There you go. Toilet, 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 and right here. Flip this over. Bam, 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 and bam. <laughs> All right. Yeah, looking pretty good, if I would say so. So that'll be jail cell door. So what do we require here? Bed and toilet. That'll be built soon, and that'll be done. So all we need now is a shower, at least two guards and two shops. That's for the detention centers. We get 10,000 more coming in here. Now, in terms of the shower, where do I want that is the real question. We only have an hour and 30 minutes, by the way, until the prisoners get here. I might have to end up delaying it. I didn't want to do that, but I feel like I'm kind of under the gun at this point. Yeah, we might have to do that. The shower area... I suppose we could probably do a... Shower somewhere? Where, though? Hmm. If we enclose this area off over here, we could probably open this up, and this we could have, like, two showers, maybe? Would that be a good thing? I mean, how would it break up? I mean, why would you need two showers? Why? Would you, like, segregating them by race? Or, you know, it's not sex, obviously, because they have a male prison. Um, interesting. I don't know. You know what, guys? Let's call it an episode here, though. Not a lot of, uh, we did some progress. Uh, we had a few hiccups here and there, but at the very least, this is looking pretty good, and it's 
taking some shape. I mean, it's taking me a while. I'm hiccuping through the way, but hey, at the very least, we're having a good time. At least I would hope so. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you do, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support always does mean a lot. And other than that, um, keep leaving your names in the, preferably in the first episode, but if you want to leave, do it here, go ahead and do so. And again, I will be renaming prisoners after you guys, the viewers, assuming it is possible. And if it is possible, let me know how to do it. Because this is still same, part of the same recording, so, you know, I'll get to it eventually, though. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I will catch you next time.